In this demo, I'm going to cover all the warranty handling that RepairTracks does. Let's get started by going to Tickets. And now let's create a brand new ticket. Every new ticket requires a customer search, so I'm going to enter in the customer. And click Submit to Search. Looks like Kelly's a brand new customer is indicated at the top. Uh, I'm not going to fill out any information for the customer. I just already have their phone number. I just want to show the warranty stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And now I will enter in the service item I'm going to repair. And then click Submit to Save. I'm almost done with the wizard. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. You will notice a job type drop down. Let's take a look at that. Under the job type you have a few selections here. One is new if it's a brand new ticket. Uh, the next three are warranty, full, parts, or split. And if any of these warranties are selected you'll see a reaction in the software. The other one is insurance claim or a reservice. Watch what happens when I select full warranty. As you can see, additional items appear. They're all optional, but they allow you to enter in warranty companies and or reference numbers on the ticket. And even if I choose a different type of warranty, the input boxes remain. But if I choose a non-warranty job type, the input boxes go away. But since this is a warranty job, I'm going to go ahead and set it as such. And then populate the uh, text boxes with the warranty information. Now whether you have one warranty company or two, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to fill up both for demonstrational purposes. And then I'll assign the ticket and indicate what's wrong and then scroll down and save. Okay, the new tickets up at top and you'll notice the full warranty indicator along with uh, the current progress of reason for service. Let's take a look at the ticket. Okay, you can see the full warranty job type as indicated. Uh, let's see what happens when we edit the ticket information. Let's see how that looks. Since the job type is full warranty, or actually any type of warranty, we see our warranty information input boxes. Let's go ahead and start working on this ticket. I'll start by adding to the work log. Now I'm going to add a part, but I need to scroll down. Okay, so now I'm just going to add parts and labor, but I'm going to do it with a warranty in mind. Let's see how that's done. As always, I'll search for a part. Uh, this had a bad power supply, so I'll search on power. Repair tracks found what I was looking for, so I'll go ahead and add a new part. I notice that the part tax isn't correct. Uh, for whatever reason, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the part tax, and then I'm going to make a note about warranty and uh, taxing. So let's do the tax first. And now I'm going to set this part as under warranty. Let's see how we do that. It's that easy. I'll submit my changes to save. And scroll down a bit. Okay, three things to notice. One, the W next to the item number indicating warranty. Two, no tax, even though tax was set. That's because this is a warranty job. And three, a new printer icon with a W next to it. That's the warranty printout. A warranty printout for the customer indicates zero for the rate for any parts or labor. Let's take a look at that first. As you can see, the rate is zero for both the parts and labor. Now I'm going to close out this pop-up. Hold on. Okay, now I'm going to move over and show you what the printout for the warranty company will look like. And here it is. Notice the warranty info shows up above the work log and that the parts and labor show up but with no tax and along them with the total. That's it for this one. Have a great day.